What you're seeing here is not optimal. It's an extension cord providing power to my table saw. The thing about table saws is they're usually in the middle of your shop floor. And many of us, like me, for many years, just pull an extension cord out to it and just hope for the best, really. Because extension cords can get damaged, that you can trip over them, they can get frayed. I've even dropped heavy equipment, unfortunately, on the cord and cut it in two. So they're not the best solution. So that's what this video is about. It's about the permanent power drop that I supplied to my table saw. So what are your options to provide power to a table saw if it's in the middle of your floor? Well, first you have the extension cord, but that's only really a temporary solution. You can make a trench in your concrete and lay in a conduit and pull wire through the conduit. The problem with that is you have to cut it with the concrete saw. You have to put the, concrete, the conduit in and then fill up the trench with con concrete again. It's a lot of mess. It's very permanent and not really a good solution. I didn't want to cut my concrete floor. So that was not a good solution. So the only other one is to put conduit on top of the floor. And that's not really a good solution either because you got con conduit laying right on top of your floor. So it's a tripping hazard. It you know collects dust. You can get crushed and just not a good solution. So what I finally decided on was to build a drop, an electrical drop. And this one is built out of Unistrut. Unistrut is an electrical uh, product and uh, it's sold in the big box stores and electrical supply stores. And it's basically a square U-channel with bolt slots cut in it. And I like this because it's really sturdy. I already had the brackets, the top and bottom brackets, and uh, for, I bought for another project. So all I had to do is buy one stick of the Unistrut and it fit perfectly. They're 10 foot long, so it fit perfectly in between uh, my ceiling joists and the floor, which my walls are, are uh, 10 feet uh, tall. So it worked really good. And being an electrical product, there's all sorts of things that allow you to hang uh, electrical boxes that you can put your plugs in and uh, just a really good system. It uses these little plates and these plates come in different bolt sizes. This one's quarter inch 20. And that's what I used. They fit inside the slot. Yeah, I can't really get to it, but it fits inside this slot and allows you to bolt boxes and uh, conduit holders and clips and stuff like that to it. And so that's what these boxes are attached with are these are uh, two of these little plates and just to bolt through them. So they're really sturdy. And um, I provided a 220 volt outlet and a 110 outlet. So the 110 will provide power to power tools, which my bench, one of my working benches is right, right beside it. And then eventually I'm gonna switch my table saw and my planer, which is right there, uh, over to 220 to uh, uh, provide just better power. I've been wanting to switch it over to 220 and now I'm able to. So the Unistrat is, is a really good product for this. You could go with a two by four. That would be just fine. Um, you would have to provide some sort of angle bracket 
uh, for the top and bottom, and then you have to bolt it to the floor somehow, you know, drill a hole uh, with a, a uh, hammer drill or whatever to get a bolt into it, uh, like I had, I had to here. But, and then the, uh, the cabling is just an MC cable, uh, I think it's metal clad, what MC stands for, and it just runs from the ceiling box all the way down to the, the uh, first box and then the conduit down to the 220. So it's a really good option and I put it on the corner of my table saw uh, because it, the fence won't hit it. it would have, the fence would have to go out too far to hit it and it's just kind of the most uh, out of the way spot for it and it's also in vicinity of my bench. So anyway, if you like this video, please like or subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.